Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 Part 25. This should be the final episode of Let's Play Super Mario 64, so let's just get right into it. So we're at 119 stars, and we just need one more red coin star to, uh, to beat the game with a full 120 stars. So, um, let's, yeah, like I said, let's get on with it, even though we're already getting on with it, so... Uh, I remember the first coin, you can kind of see its shadow right there. What you're supposed to do is push this block here and then jump up to it. And there you go. And uh, I already kind of showed a little sneak peek of this um, course um, by doing like a backwards long jump glitch to bypass the endless stairs before we were allowed to. But I mean, that's not really so much of a sneak peek for a stage that's been around for over, for over 20 years actually. Right now it's 2019, this game came out in 1996, so that would make this game around, <clears throat> let's see, 20 years, uh, 23 years old. Isn't that nuts? This game, which was a release title uh, for, oh yeah, I didn't even remember this coin. Uh, this came out like as one of the uh, titles available on release for the Nintendo 64. So that means both Nintendo 64 and Mario 64 are 23 years old. Isn't that nuts? Like, think about it. If that was a human being born at, uh, at the same time as Mario 64, they would already be old enough to drink for two years already. Like, legally. In America, anyway. I know in some of the countries, uh, they kind of do things a bit differently. Actually, so there's no... There's no red coin there, is there? Hey, that's a trip. Um, but yeah, one thing that's kind of a trip for me is the GameCube. Uh, the GameCube was released in August of 2001 in Japan and November of 2001 in America. North America, rather. But I think that includes the rest of the L2, but I don't know. Uh, I was born around the same time, in October actually, so that puts me like right in between those two dates. Uh, so, I'm basically the same age as the GameCube, which kind of wasn't too surprising at first until I realized that I'm about to turn 18, and that means so is the GameCube. As a matter of fact, if you want to be official, in August, the GameCube will officially turn 18, at least the Japanese ones. Uh, the American GameCube will be 18 in November. So yeah, that's, I th uh, that's pretty crazy. I think it's like November 11th or something like that. Uh, oh, come on, there's a red point over there. But yeah, that's the GameCube. That kind of made me feel not old, but like not me, because personally, I right now like I'm 17, about to turn 18. That's not old by any means. But for a game console, that's pretty old. You know, like already this is antiquated. I mean, the GameCube's been antiquated for some time now. Like, it, this is to the point where the GameCube just flat out like a retro console. The same thing like with the Wii and the DS and all that. Like. I remember when those used to be like the big thing, like the Wii Shop channel and all that, like had Wi-Fi and everything, that like, it was such a big deal of motion controls. And now that thing's old, like I think the Wii was What the Oh, it sounds like an airplane flew overhead. But yeah, like the Wii is like uh, already 13 years old. I think that was 2006, I believe. And we're dead. But yeah, that that's a trip, man. Anyway. <laughs> So enough of me, about me, um, or enough of me just like glassing over, or not glassing, uh, just kind of spewing stuff about the GameCube being old and stuff, because I'm pretty sure most of you either already knew about that, or don't even care. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway. Uh, you know... I don't remember being this bad, like, at this particular level. I used to, um, practice using this level and another level. Uh, the other level was, uh, Bowser in, in the, uh, in the Dark World. Like, before I, uh, started, um, doing my recordings, I used to, like, practice to make sure I wouldn't suck horribly on my first time playing this game in a while, or recording. Of course, it didn't help too much, like, even though I wasn't doing too bad, for some reason, once I started recording, like, two weeks after all that practice, uh, I went back to sucking at the game again, so... 
Yeah. Funny how that all happens. Anyway, don't want to forget this particular coin. Oh, we took two helps of uh, bits of damage. Well, we'll just get healed right back up. Sounds like uh, my mom just came home, so if someone comes into my room, it's probably her. But yeah. Um. Anyway. Okay. Back somersault. Nice. All right. So. Um, the first time we, uh, wasn't too bad. We kind of died just out of total carelessness, but, um, we didn't do horribly. Uh, jump over here, and of course, yeah, get this coin over here, and hopefully not overshoot that. Okay, good. We do not. There we go, just keep going. I never was too fond of this coin. I don't know why. Like, you don't even like slide on the th on the block like all that much. But I always get paranoid that I'm gonna slide off of it and like overshoot the uh, jump. Anyway, whoa, 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 what the? I didn't expect you to actually follow me on the platform there, little bit bomb. Anyway, jump here and got it. So got some goombas and poopas there. Should I just do it the safe way? I feel like I should. Probably better. Alright, so I'll wait for it to come to me and then jump. That way I for sure cannot miss the jump because I'll it'll be literally coming towards me. And this is where I died, right? Um Yeah, I don't know why I've always hated this particular jump. Maybe because the platform's like going away from you. But anyway, I got back on here, no problem. And, uh, yeah, here we are, at the very end. And, uh, okay, just making sure we got all the coins up to this point. And I hate that Goombas are not affected by the wind, but you are. And, uh, if you jump towards, or jump while in the wind, that's really bad, because you're way more susceptible to it while you're in the air. But anyway, there it is, star number 120. So, yeah, let's go ahead, jump up here, and, um... Hold up, let me see, I'm getting a message. Sorry, never mind, that was just a group chat. Um, so yeah, here we go, star number 120. So now officially we have gotten all the stars in the castle, or in the game. And wow, another power star, Mario gains more courage from the power, okay, it's basically the same thing. Wanna save? You bet. Now we pretty much officially beat the game. The only thing left now is to go into the uh, warp pipe and actually face down Lord Bowser himself, or King Bowser, or whatever his title is now, so yeah. Mario, you again? Well, that's just fine. I've been looking for something to fry with my fire breath. Your star power is useless against me. Your friends are all still trapped in the pa- Your friends are all trapped in the castle walls. Whatever, that was close enough. And you'll never see the princess again. Mwahaha. Well, does that mean he's like basically saying that he killed her, or that he's just gonna make sure Mario doesn't unkidnap her? I guess probably the latter, because like if he killed her, that would be kind of dark for me to do. Anyway, I'm always bad at these, but hey, for some reason I managed to land that shot the first try. Once you get the first shot, it's really easy to get the next few because you no longer have to chase Bowser around. Yeah, you can just grab his tail as soon as he lands. Wow. Oh. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but hey, at least Bowser got hit into the, um, the mine bomb thing. Uh, I'm not getting a really good angle on that. Can I get a better camera angle on it? Well, that might be a little better. There we go. Wow, okay, so I didn't mess up at all. Normally, I'm, like, horrible at that. So, yeah, that went really nicely. Just had to do it three times. No! You really beaten me this time, Mario. I can't stand losing to you. My troops. Worthless. They turned over all the power stars? What? There were 120 in all? Amazing. There were some in the castle that I missed? Now I see peace returning to the world. Ooh, I really hate that. I can't watch. I'm out of here. Just you wait until next time. Until then, keep that control stick smoking. Blah ha ha ha. Alright, so now we get the Grand Star, at least I think that's what it's called. It's basically a big power star. And with this, we 
officially have beaten the game. So, yeah, that's nice. Let's go ahead and watch this little ending cinematic. I even turned off my fan so that it wouldn't ruin it. Pretty sure it should last my Wii. Yeah, it's it's not that hot right now. Besides, the game doesn't actually save when the credits finish, so it doesn't matter. I technically beat this game for all intents and purposes, so yeah. Anyway, we'll gently fall down with our wing cap, and uh, we'll see that Princess Peach was actually trapped in this stained glass window of herself the whole time. And also, you can see Yoshi there. And he disappeared for some reason. Alright. Here we go. Peach will just gently float down. Here, yeah, maybe I should, uh, I don't know. Also, toads just appeared out of nowhere. How did they get there? I have no idea. Wow, what a gallant young lad Mario is. Or not really lad, but a gentleman. Oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> This is the return of the castle. Yeah, I don't even have to read it. Cool. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special, special for you. Hmm, nice. Anyway, fun fact about Peach here. Um I'll hold up, I'll let uh, Let her finish. Cool. Alright, so fun fact about Peach in this game, her uh, voice actress is actually the localizer for Nintendo. Uh, she still is part of the localization team to this day for most of the Nintendo's games. So yeah, it's kind of interesting there. Uh, I actually didn't know that the first time playing this game. I just saw Leslie Swan in the credits. And uh, yeah, but I didn't actually think that she was a, a localizer. But yeah. Um, so here it is, the end credits. So, yeah. Anyway, this is usually the part of my Let's Plays where I usually start talking about my thoughts on the game and my overall experience, which usually tends to be a little bit happier than it actually seemed in the Let's Play. Most of the penguin's really fat now. Anyway, so... What do I think about this game? Uh, actually, uh, the first time playing Mario 64 was actually the DS version, because I had a 3DS uh, a while back, and uh, one of the games I wanted to get on it was Mario 64 DS, uh, even though that's not a 3DS game, I still wanted it, because why not? I heard Mario 64 was great, but then I uh, decided that on Virtual Console, I might as well, like on the Wii, I'll, I should probably get Mario 64. And I honestly kind of like this version a little bit better. I'm not really um, too big on the idea of using like the touchscreen for a lot of stuff. Granted, you could play the game uh, totally with buttons in DS, but uh, the D-pad felt kind of weird. Uh, fortunately, you could use the little control stick that the 3DS has, but it still feels a little weird to control. Not to mention, like, I felt like there were too many... Um, Huh. Sorry, I looked outside my window. I thought I saw my dog running outside. It was just the neighbor's dog. I was like, holy crap, did I leave the door open? Anyway, so, um, uh, whatchamacallit. But yeah, I felt like even that felt weird. And also, like, all the characters played a bit too differently. But this one is nice. It simply just plays Mario. And, like I said, it's an early 3D platformer. So, obviously not everything's going to be super polished like it is nowadays. Like with Mario Odyssey and other games that are new and not from 1996 on Nintendo 64 hardware. But, uh, yeah, and also they have Peach Voice, Leslie Swan. There you go, Charles Martinet. This is technically his second credit, right? No, third credit, I think, for Mario, because he did Mario Teaches Typing first, and, like, also a Mario Head showcase thing at an event, but whatever. Anyway, I was thinking this game was pretty good for the time, and to be honest, still to this day, even though I did get a little frustrated with the camera a lot, I, I can't say, even like when I'm all happy here, I can't say that I necessarily enjoy the camera. But um, 
I can say though that the game itself, its gameplay was really good. Mario didn't control all that well, but that's probably because I was just screwing stuff up. I can see a lot of players do know how to play this game. Hold up. Thank you so much for playing my game. Yeah, I, I didn't really want to cut that off. I really like that part. And they've basically been doing that ever since. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I really like this game. It's pretty good. Definitely one of my childhood favorites. And, yeah, I know it's hard to believe uh, like that I'm saying it's a childhood favorite. From You know, it's not... This game came out before I was even born, but whatever. Uh, and it still was able to play it as a kid. I was 10 when I played it, so... I do have a good lot of nostalgic memories with this game, and I definitely would say that it still lives up today. I mean... Granted, like, if, it re if they released this game exactly like this today, obviously it would not be, like, great. But, you know, because people would say, oh, the controls are bad, the camera's bad, the graphics are horrible. But, um... I feel like, as a game, it's pretty good. At the time, it was fun. And like I said, really, in my essence, like, I think I've said this before in, uh... I don't remember in another Let's Play, but I do know for sure I did say this in my top five Zelda games. And uh, that was, like, a long time. That was almost a year ago. But, um... I said, in my opinion, the way you say, like, you say a game is good is not how fancy the graphics look or how many things you can do or even like really how much content there is in there really what makes like defines a game is just how fun it is to play and how you know how much you like enjoyed playing it like you know there are some games today that I feel like they have so much stuff and there's so many things but they're just boring like they're so story driven you might as well just be watching a movie but whereas, like, you know, older games, like, say, Mario, N N Super Mario World, that's a classic. There's barely any story. It's basically Peach disappears again, and now you're on an island uh, uh, with Yoshis on it. Boom. Go play it. There's no story to that, really. But the game is still fun, and there isn't really too much to do except for jump around, but that's still a really fun game. And I think the same goes for this game, so it doesn't have as much as Mario Odyssey, although I feel like Mario Odyssey is a better game. As it kind of goes back to this formula. But like, say, Mario Sunshine. It had more stuff. had the Flood. It had different, you know, objectives and secret courses and whatnot. And more shines and stuff. And, an in and a more in-depth story. But I feel like this game was just more fun to play. So that's just my, you know, my, my little opinion on this. Anyway, I've been blabbering on about this game long enough. So that's just where I should probably do my outro. So... Thank you guys very much for watching this Let's Play. I don't even care if you watched one or all of them. I'm just glad you watched any of it. Even if you watched literally just this last second right here, like if it was one minute of, of the whole series, that's enough for me. I appreciate anyone watching these. And, uh, you know, despite how frustrated I got in some points of this game, I really did have a lot of fun playing this again. It's been a while since I have. And I really like that I had the opportunity to do it again. You know, I technically always had the opportunity because I, I never got rid of the game. But I thought it, would be, it was really fun to be able to do this Let's Play. So, yeah, hopefully you guys can stick around for any other content I put up. Uh, I made a second channel now. Uh, I haven't put anything on it yet. But uh, I'm planning on putting an upload on it soon. So go check that out. Uh, I changed the channel for this to Contact Willer 46 Gameplay, uh, but the other one's just Contact Willer 46 now. So yeah, that's kind of confusing since this used to be Contact Willer 46. But yeah, just go check out that channel, and uh, you should see my other stuff that I'm gonna be putting out there in the future. So yeah, hopefully I get better with content and stuff. I'm gonna start college soon, so who knows if I'll actually be able to stay steady with that. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I've been here for like six minutes or so just talking about this game. I don't even know how long. But uh, yeah. Until next time, guys. I'll see you later.